Hey fellas, a little bit of an update here on the uh, Mustang 68 Shelby Historic Racing Miniatures uh, Shelby Mustang that I'm putting together. Uh, it's been a slow process and slow progress, of course, but uh, it's, it's getting there. I just wanted to uh, share a little bit of the uh, couple of things that I have done to it. Uh, as you can see, I, I did send out uh, the bumpers to Chrome. Uh, these were done by... Uh, the little motor car company in PA Pennsylvania very nice job took to took him about uh, I don't know about a month or so to get them back to me but I'm very happy and I you know I wasn't really in a rush to get them back because as you can see this thing is still ongoing it's still an ongoing build and it's been like I said slow but uh, you know I'm getting there um, uh, the, these were the bumpers from another kit I just send them out but these are the actual ones this piece right here together with this one are the ones that I'm probably gonna be ultimately using uh, these are the uh, beautiful hubcaps I outclatted them and then put silver on the slat on the uh, 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 V's on there uh, to make them look a little bit more realistic uh, I also uh, painted the uh, actual letters on the tires and uh, this is of course the uh, body of the car as you can see it's, it, it, I painted the uh, the top I don't know if you could probably see it a little bit better in there it's a, it's a little hard to uh, actually show you guys how this is looking but hopefully you can see it pretty good it also has a, a little boot on here that you can also add to it in the back gonna be something like that let me see if I can go ahead and put this on there somehow it's, it's gonna be something like that so it's gonna look something like that just just you know a little overview so that you guys can have a, a basic idea on how it's it's gonna look uh, you know again it's a little challenging a little hard to try to hold this stupid iPad with my hand there and uh, try to do this video but Hey, let's let's try to see if I can do this a little bit. Just 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 to give you a small update of what's been going on. Um, I bare metal foiled some parts already. I still have to paint the, the signal lights on the sides. Uh, I did put the decal on the side. Um, I also bare metal foiled the frame. Put the glass in there already. Um, and done a couple of things to the body. But it's basically all done, at least the body, paint-wise. I did add the uh, the molding around the wheel wells. I had to uh, do some, uh, uh, make something up to get that done, because it didn't come with it. Did not come with the kit. But I went ahead and uh, you know added some plaster, try to do everything uh, to scale, and it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Could have come out a little bit skinnier than that, or a little bit thinner. But I'm happy with it. It looks it looks pretty good. I'm happy, and the paint, of course, a lot of a uh, a lot of uh, wet sanding, polishing, to get it to look like that. But it looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the uh, paint, the flakes on this paint are, I mean, very small, uh, very nice uh, mix that they, that the guys did for me, uh, Miguel Hernandez down there in Puerto Rico. This kid is really really good when it comes to that. He knew I was gonna be picky about that and. You know he was able to come through and i was very happy with that um the interior i painted the interior just uh, about two days ago and added a little bit of a uh, sheen to it so it could look a little bit like vinyl i still have to do the uh, console and the gauges and all that stuff that's that's also coming but uh again it's a work in progress as you guys well know um i've chromed a lot of the little parts already these are some muffler tips right there. These are actually the cranks for the windows. The window cranks, this is all gonna be chrome on the side. I also have to put like a little bit of a uh, chrome line on this and do a couple of things to get this to work. And I also, uh, it's a good thing I remembered, I'm, uh, the tub comes complete with the, uh, with the sides, with these sides on it. I did cut them off, this is the only way to actually try to detail this part it was the only way to be able to detail this part you know taking it uh 
apart from the or cutting it off with a knife it's the only way again to try to detail this part because there was no no way i was going to be able to do that while it was on the uh on the tub itself of the interior tub so it's a little tedious job but you know it's those little things are the ones that make the difference you know when you take time out and uh go a little bit uh over the top and try and uh, make a, a, better, a better model uh this right here it's a little bit of a mesh that I'm going to be adding to the back of the grill once once it's uh, installed. It's just like the real one. The real one had like a little mesh on the back. So I managed to get some of this. So I think it's from one of the Oshima kits. Uh, that, uh, I've always put those little things away just in case, you know, I, I needed them. Um, this is the actual rear on the back, which was silver. It's gonna look so good because it's gonna contrast really well with that color and then of course the red lights go in there and then uh, on top of that you get these things right on top of the lights this is also uh, out cladded and if you look at the reference photos of a 68 you'll see what I'm talking about uh, and where this goes so you could have an idea you know where it actually goes at the end I still have to um, add the side scoops on this thing I haven't done that yet that would go on the sides but I, I have to polish it because it's a little bit rough before I add it on there it's gonna be a little challenging because it's not part of the body so you know it uh, I have to take time out and polish it so that it could look good against the body but other than that guys I mean this is basically what I have done so far uh, hopefully you guys are liking the uh, work in progress I did say or I did promise that I was gonna put some uh, stuff of the work in progress of this kit and uh, again it's a resin kit from historic racing miniatures uh, Harold the owner of historic racing miniatures liked that color so much in the paint that he he's actually given me another body to paint for him uh, I still have some leftover paint so I'll go ahead and paint it for him at no charge because I mean we take care of each other I mean the guy is great and uh, you know he'll take care of me I'm not worried about charging him for anything uh, but I will be uh, painting another body for him. Uh, and again, this is a build for... Uh, Harold actually had this car in real life. And that's what I'm actually trying to duplicate. That's why I'm going with the hubcaps. Instead of some other wheels that I was going to be going with. But his had hubcaps. So this one's going to have hubcaps. But uh, anyway, uh, this is uh, the short video of the work in progress. I uh, don't want to take a lot more time because I don't want to make it boring. So hopefully you guys are liking this stuff. And thank you for your attention and for your little bit of time. Thank you guys.